the key to accessing the more subtle realms, the more refined realms where the consciousness of Buddha and the Buddhic pure land, you know, Buddha talked about that pure land, those energy streams and the real wisdom of Mohammed and, and Christ and the Holy Ones, the, the way to access that pure stream of consciousness is through subtlety of breath and breath is free. So that means we've all got the access key. To, to, to tune into these realms. So as you refine your breathing and, and, and make your breathing more refined, more subtle, slow it right down. Science have already said that changes your, your field resonance, your brainwave patterns from the busy beta to the alpha to the theta where you're mm, very slow, very relaxed. And so for us, when we come into these really subtle realms where we can be fed by the pranic flows, where we can be nourished in an alternate way, it does actually take great sensitivity which we achieve by our lifestyle. But then it makes it hard for some of us to, or for me it used to, not anymore, to just operate in a really busy beta frequency world. You know, everything your doctors and nutritionists say about a human body is true for a busy beta brainwave frequency person. But when you start the path of meditation and the who am I journey, you know, like self-knowledge, then and you apply these things, you go into the alpha frequency of a subtler realm and then the theta brainwave patterns and then the delta of the yogic states of deep pure samadhi type consciousness. So you need to access these more refined realms to um, really magnetize a strong flow of alternative nourishment to be healthy and so we've learned very early that we need to not absorb energy from the field because when you're absorbing then you've got to deal with that dominant pulse of the majority of mass consciousness when you're holding a different energy signature or keynote or pattern and so we invite people just to to um, see themselves and feel themselves, experience themselves as being plugged into a, a limitless source of endless love and wisdom, which is, you know, the heart of of the life force that is giving us this life, and to just allow that to flow through us from the inner realms. Science says every um, atom is a door to an inner universe, so you can open that up and allow it to flow through you and radiate out into the world. And as it flows through you, it nourishes you and then nourishes the world as it moves out into the world rather than absorb. And that way we can be anywhere in any situation and not affected by it, which is really important because when you're a field absorber, when you're absorbing the resonance of the mass consciousness, then you can be drowned in that beat if it if because it can be quite strong and then you go into states of separation saying oh I can't do this and I can't be here and I can't be there and I can't hang out in noisy shopping centers because it's not my you know it doesn't feed me so we just really invite people to um, come into a state of stepping into that field of love within and really opening to radiate those frequencies through us so it nourishes us first to nourish the world. So we're field radiators, we're field feeders, not absorbers and drainers. And it's a different paradigm, a different way of existing, and it gives us more freedom.